exemplifies everything about the freedom movement. And I want to welcome him up. He's uh, Major Jim Forsyth. I know that for me, two things ignited my reignited my passion to fight for freedom. It was Dr. Ron Paul and the Liberty Forum last year. Those two things sparked me a desire to fight the passion for freedom. And as you can see, there's a whole group of people that have reignited that spark. Like me, Dr. Paul served in the Air Force. I got the honor, I got the privilege of reading a signed copy of Foreign Policy of Freedom from cover to cover. It's, it has his house speeches from when he got in all the way up until today. And there was times I was brought to tears because of uh, that he was the one man fighting to keep the troops safe and not misused for uh, uh, not misused for political purposes. He was fighting. <laughs> what I want to say for the people that I've been working with, I think I hope this whole thing, I hope it holds for everybody in the room. This revolution has just begun. Yeah. <laughs>
And if the Republican Party is to exist and to thrive and to continue to grow and rather than just being diminished in numbers, they have to come around to understanding these issues. They cannot reject these principles and expect to be a viable party. And even though they resist, did you notice that they don't even want me in a debate tonight? <laughs> but we do have to give credit to the Republican Party of New York. But one thing I can guarantee you, with all those laws in the book, if I am to be the president, there's nothing that says that I have to enforce unconstitutional law. Yeah. are rather clear to us. We embarked on a rather correct course. It was far from perfect. The Constitution was far from perfect. But it had turned out to be one of the best, if not the best, agreement between the people and, and, the, uh, and the government. But we have abandoned that, whether it's the legislative branch. We criticize a lot the, uh, the current administration, but it's many, many administrations, many, many congresses, and many, many judicial uh, officials that have gotten us to this point. So what we need to do is revive the, the love of liberty once again in the hearts of, of all Americans. We have to realize that we're not really going backwards. This idea that we're going backwards to something ancient in some type of an isolationist uh, type of area. It isn't true at all. What we want to do is actually promote what was a grand experiment that we have rejected. Our generation, the last several generation, generations, have rejected these notions. And what we're trying to do in this wonderful revolution that we're revitalizing is this promotion and confidence that freedom really works. Yeah. It's all one thing. We as individuals deserve our right to our life and the right to our liberty. Continue this revolution. Revolution. 